move forward. We do expect that from Nyama in particular. Takapata Nyama, we received from Mark van Heerden. He's been around the block a few times. Also, Damazulu before into Chipper Pirates and Stellenbosch FC as well, but they've given possession away. They have Cape Town City. This time the foul is from Nyama. Ethan Brooks is an improving force in the Osuki camp. Yeah, he's forcing his way back into the starting lineup. Ethan Brooks on the back of some good performances here. He retains his position and uh, remains that creative spark for Amazulu going forward. There was a spell when he was released by TX Galaxy that there might have been a confidence problem. He is a national team player anyway. Um, and it just seemed as if he, he wasn't quite delivering what was required of him. But in recent times, I mean, he's playing in his sixth match of the season consecutively. And in recent times, he really, really has been dedicated and assertive in that midfield position. This is put off the floor from the keeper, the Padre! 960 days out of football in the first team, and it shows a city of punished early. And that's exactly what Hamazulu would have planned for. Test the goalkeeper, he has to be rusty. Brilliant ball played in just behind the defense, and he fumbled. It's all smiles there on the bench for Mazulu. Yeah, it's a very, very nervy attempt to grab the ball by Bonkani. He shakes his head. Keat on the bench has had a couple of uh, similar situations in the city camp in the early stages of the season. Bonkani Gumbete. First goal this season. Second goal for Amazulu in the campaign. After Quem scored last time out. Yeah, brilliant ball there from Mubara. You have to blame the goalkeeper there. Fumbled it a bit there. There was a bit of pressure on him. Deep. And all of a sudden he's uh, pushing in behind Kutumela and behind Mayo. They're starting to find spaces there for the man. Kizi to Notata. He's really not uh, able to get hold of the ball very much at all. Mayo is onside here. It's terrific from Mayo. Scores his first goal of the season. Back in the starting lineup. Back on the score sheet. Yeah, third time lucky there for Mayo. Once again, a high line from Amazulu. Lovely paint run there from Kaniso Mayo. He's back. Started today on the starting sheet for Cape Town City. Kaniso Mayo. 12 goals last season. He opens his account. In the DSTV Premiership 23-24. So once again just holding his line there. Brilliant ball once again from Kipiro. Checked his awareness there. Knew Motwa was bearing down on him. And a deft touch there from Ayo. That sees him get the equaliser for Cape Town City. It's beautifully done. The moment of hesitation from Motwa who suddenly gets caught in no man's land. But he must have thought if he, if he was in a metre of your opponent you've got to have that covered surely. And... Uh, Mayo absolutely exquisite. The ball as well. Knocked forward by Khuriman. Mayo will release it wide. They've got numbers in the box here. They might not need them. Or maybe they do. That was so beautifully constructed. City in front for the first time. Nyama scores his first goal for his new club after signing from TX Galaxy. And suddenly, and for the first time in about a month, there's a smile on the face of Eric Tinkler. Yeah, smiles all round, deservedly so. Great comeback from Cape Town City as they take the lead. Well constructed. Good build up there from City. Finding spaces down the wings. You can see. Brilliant pass there into space. Mayo leaving it for the substitute Zapata. Stayed patient there, Mark. Took a touch just to get it out of his feet and create space there. One touch from Yama and the second one at the back of the net. And a move receives from Malepe. Another good delivery. Clearance from Cupido. Now Muremi, who played most of the match on the right-hand side, is out here on the left and with space to attack the goal to the near post. It's not a bad effort, you know. Job done there from Mpanda. A little bit untidy, but managed to steer that one for a corner speed of Moreme creating the opportunity 
seven minutes has been added on to the second half here. Hanamu looking for the near post, it's been stabbed in! Almost out of nowhere, Mazulu on a level terms and Senetion, the junior, grabs the equaliser for Ramazulu. And the home fans finally have something to celebrate since the six minutes. Yeah, fascinating. <laughs> Gets around all good. Mama Joy. Mama Joy, yes. Fans will be relieved and happy too that uh, the equalizing goal had come from the Sedi Tion. Uh, they would have minded who it came from. It came nonetheless. 30 seconds remaining. Cordinho with an important header. Gonzalez with a carry. Oh, that's a strong challenge on Zapata by Pepe Malepe. Nothing from the referee. Moremi. Is it to be even more late drama? The bounce of the ball. Scramble off the line. Was that a handball? It's been smashed in. Is that the winning goal? I think the referee's given it. It might have even been a handball. Hamazulu have escaped with a smash and grab final goal here. And no wonder Pablo Martin is absolutely beside.